Hey guys, Cyrix here. I'll make things short and sweet. I'm going to be reading for Mr. Backrooms again. And the primary reason is because he told me in DMs that monetization through Texas speech is no longer going to be a thing for the upcoming year of 2022, which I think is sad. So yeah, I'll be reading again. Um, so yeah, if I make mistakes, well, I mean, I'm just an ordinary human being. You can't get mad at me for that. And, um, I don't think we will be caring about the time zone difference anymore. As long as we get the work done, we get the work done. So, yeah, that will be it. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Level 9. The Suburbs. Survival Difficulty. Class 5. Unsafe. Unsecure. Entity infestation. If I make any mistakes, just note that I haven't been reading on this channel for quite a while. Level 9 is the 10th level of the back rooms. This level seems to be an infinite suburban area. Description Level 9 is an infinite suburban area at midnight. This level has the same darkness similar to that at level 6, but not as dangerous. The houses vary in design and size, and each are completely different. Although there are, there are reports of spotting two houses near each other that are exactly the same. The houses of level 9 appear to be furnished and fairly new, although there is no power source for the lighting systems to function. Some houses have a chance of being completely empty. Many useful objects can be found inside these houses and are areas similar to them. The furniture of these houses is what a person would expect for a normal house, such as sofas, televisions, beds, refrigerators, etc. The items that require a power source are not functional due to the missing requirements of a power source. Rip that one PlayStation that you wanted to play on. Some of the houses have fully furnished yards at the back of the house. Another anomalous property of this level is that you can find two houses weirdly clipped inside of each other while traveling too far, which is physically impossible in the real world. The streets of level 9 is the most dangerous area of the level. The wet asphalt roads are unpainted and are covered with leaves in some areas. The puddles in some spot of the road indicates that the level had once rained before. The stone sidewalks are normal and don't seem to have any anomalous oddities. Any walkways that lead to grass fields will lead to level 9.1. Wandering off the walkways into the fields will for some reason lead to level 10. The street lamps are usually powered off and are inactive, although some will flicker on and off and are sometimes even powered, which is unknown where the power originates. Be aware of the foggy mist that can appear due to the fog being the spawning mechanism of the mangled. Entities that can appear in level 9 are death moths, smilers, concealers, dairy hounds, transporters, death rats, and the anathikas, and many wretches. Sightings of the frayed and the arachnids of level 8 have been reported, but it seems that they have wandered into level 9 from level 8. Level 9 also includes some of its own special entities, the most notable ones including the Neighborhood Watch, the Observer, and the Mangled. Bases, Outposts, and Communities There are a few groups that live in Realm Level 9, and it is completely possible for groups to be set up in Level 9, although this is a very dangerous task, and none have been recorded for this entry at the moment. Discovery Level 9 was discovered when a post was published by user Bartanius one of the members of the missing explorers group. After he and the rest of the group fell through the floor of level 8, he claimed to have been dreaming and claims that the level doesn't exist. Although this claim was false, it is still unknown how the explorers group disappeared. Here's one of the post reads. <clears throat> I fell through the floor. I sunk down and landed in an unfamiliar place. There were no spiders, thank god. 
but I still felt like I was being watched. Around me, there was street houses and dead trees everywhere. My head felt and still feels fuzzy, like DB static my brain. I lost consciousness, but apparently had an outburst, according to Sentryon. I was talking about death, pain, and weakness, all kinds of awful things. Level 9 is level 6 on crack. I will be the judge of that one. I can tell there are going to be things, but the effects on your mind are bad. Almost, almost as bad as level 6. The explorers were never found after the publishing of this post. Entrances and exits. Entrances. To enter, falling through the floor randomly in level 8 is the main method of entering level 9 for most wanderers. Crawling up the sewer grate in level 34 will lead to level 9. One of the many doors inside level 92 can lead to level 9, as well as other levels. The revolving door in level 40 will lead to level 9. The LRK cabinet in level 25 will lead to this level. Entering one of the doors on level 54 will lead to level 9. The animated houses of level 94 can rarely bring you to this level. Break the window in level 87 to enter level 8 to level and to enter level 9. I'm sorry for that, everybody. The backyard at level 104 will lead to level 9 after exiting the level. To exit, follow the arrow street signs. When the arrow street signs will soon lead to level 11 after 100 to 200 miles. Although this will only be the case when following the signs. Walkways that lead to the grass fields signals will lead to either level 9.1 or level 10, just men just like mentioned previously. Level 60 can be accessed by no clipping through the street floor in level 9. Entering a house will have a chance to randomly transport you to level 53. Following the electric power lines has a chance to bring you to level 113. An airport can be found while following the streets to level 11. Entering the airport will be enter the airport to be transported to level 36. No clipping will lead to the first few negative levels. Finding a playground and crawling through any kind of tube structure with white glowing interior windows will commonly teleport you to level 283's tubes. Thank you for watching everybody.